Hey everyone, this is Belgisha. Um, I have to do a voiceover on this video because I somehow, something I did when I was recording it, I lost the sound. Any of you tech savvy people that think you might be able to help me out and find the sound or fix this video for me, I would be happy to send you the original video and you can fix it for me. I would really, really appreciate it. But until then, I have to um, do this because I can't go back and re-record the video because this was... Um... Anyway, um, so let me just... I'm going to try and tell you what was going on in the video and remember what I was actually saying. So um, I wouldn't normally do a video a second time at the same location because it's 40 dresses to 40 destinations but any but the reason I am is because this is kind of a special video and I'm dedicating this one to um, someone named Deborah and the reason being is because Deborah met her husband at Stone Mountain and Deborah lived in an abusive relationship with her husband for 10 years and uh, she is an inspiration to all of us who are finally able to break free and get away from those abusive relationships. She finally was able to get away and is a survivor of domestic violence. She lived in an abusive relationship with her husband and she had three children. It was so bad that sometimes she would hide in the closet with her oldest son waiting to see what dad was like when he would come home to see what kind of mood he was going to be in with her son um, not knowing whether he was going to be violent or horrible and scared for her life and for her children waiting terrified and one day she finally just had enough and she up and she left and she left with with everything that she owned. She left everything that she knew, her home, her everything. She left and she took her three kids and she went and started a job, a minimum wage job at Walmart for $5.20 an hour. Um, here I am, I'm telling you this. So this is at St Snow Mountain. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful lights. Um, it's so pretty. It's such, such a lovely place. Um, anyway, so... I, I did this dress, and I want to thank uh, Katia's Closet again. Once again, they uh, loaned me this dress. The ladies there are so, so great for helping me out, um, letting me borrow some of their dresses. And each time they do, I will make sure I let you know. Um, and this sweet lady that's working at uh, Stone Mountain is going to let me um, help me so I can show you my dresses. My husband and children are sitting in the car waiting for me because it was like 20-something degrees outside. I'm wearing my blue jeans still. Um, I changed kind of outside the car. My husband helped me lift my arms over my head, kept my clothes on underneath. This guy comes up to me and he says, uh, does anybody know where it's a wonderful life? I guess he was kind of being funny to me. I'm laughing. Um, I wish my sound worked on this video because it was so funny. People were looking, looking at me. I'm like, aren't you freezing? Yes, I was freezing, but I was for a one, this is for a good cause. So I do this. Believe it or not, I'm actually freezing to death. My body is numb <laughs> from wearing this dress. So anyways, um, but the reason I did this dress again at Snow Mountain is because, um, or Stone Mountain is because I wanted to dedicate this dress to um, Deborah. Um, because she's an overcomer of domestic violence and she is an inspiration to all women out there who are afraid of leaving their homes and everything that they have. They're like, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to leave? How am I supposed to start over? I have, I haven't worked in 20 years. I haven't worked, you know, I have these kids. How am I supposed to do it? Well, Deborah did it. And if Deborah can do it, you can do it too. And she went and, you know, now Deborah is a, a, a business owner and she started out working at Walmart for five dollars and twenty cents an hour as a single mother with three children and now she owns a business you know she does great um and you can do it too she left everything that she that she knew and and had because she couldn't do it anymore and the inspiration about this is that she did it for her children and just imagine where her three children might be if she had stayed in that relationship so, you know, not only is the woman affected when 
she goes through these, but so are the children. Thanks for following.